get a chance to play in a final. Uh, so to, to be able to get there and win it was just ridiculous. And the way we won it, it was obviously the, the, the situation on penalties is never an easy way to, to lose or win. And luckily for us, we won. Is that when it's tough being captain because you kind of uh, you might want to laugh, you know, when John Terry missed that penalty, but you think I've got to keep a straight face. No, I think laughing is the wrong way to put it. I think you're just delighted that it's not you and one of your, one of your teammates. You just all it is is just you win at all costs. And I think uh, it doesn't matter what, which one of their team misses. And so as long as it means we're winning, we're happy. And I think uh, being someone I know from England and stuff, and uh, I've known him for many years now, it's not something that you, you'd laugh about. But you don't, we don't even really bring it up to be honest. Out of respect, and I said if, if they were to bring it up, then we'd talk about it and and start gloating and stuff. Has he brought it up yet? Uh, jokingly, but nothing that we stay on the conversation for more than a couple of seconds, really. So. How, how long did it take him before he brought it up? I think it was the first trip with England straight after, I think he was mentioned, because obviously it was on the news and the TV all the time and stuff, and um, I think the more you joke about something like that, the, the easier it is to deal with. So, But I said you win some, you lose some. I've now lost the Champions League final and know what it feels like, so it's not an easy thing to talk about. How, ba how bad did it feel? Oh, it's sickening, I think. I said you're on the cusp of being... Um, of greatness really uh, and to 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 lose it the way we did because we didn't we didn't as well we didn't really put up a fight really I think that's the worst thing about it was we never got going we started the first 10 minutes if we got a goal then I think we'd have gone on to win the game definitely but um, we didn't and they managed to get the first goal and that stunned us and we never really recovered from it so that was the most disappointing thing OK, now, now besides football, you, you've always had your outside interests. I mean, you were a busy lad, weren't you, when you were younger? You said about, you know, your ballet, gymnastics, football. Mm. And now also, you know, you've always sort of been branded into the media. And you've got this online magazine. Is it just for United fans? No, I mean, it's for everyone. I think uh, the last edition, it had lots of stuff from Ronaldo doing loads of skills. But it's every month it's going to have a different player doing skills just to show off what they've got type of thing. So um, it's for everyone, I think. As I said, I, I didn't want to just pigeonhole it and just keep it for one section. I want it to be universal for everybody to get into. As I said, it's entertainment, lifestyle, music, film and stuff. So it's got loads of things for everybody to have a look at. And, and does it reflect your taste or what you think people would want to see there? No, it's more about other people. I think um, I try to, I, I do probably one or two interviews for it, um, but everything else is really uh, driven by a, a good team that I've got around me. I think. Um, the, the guys come up with a lot of ideas and stuff and they'll come to me and say what do you think of this, what do you think of that and obviously being editor of the, the magazine I, I'll say yes, no, maybe so and we discuss it type of thing so and it goes from there so it's, uh, it's done fairly fairly over a, a, a board of people that, that decide on what goes in but I think it's a, a more of what, what, what we expect people to like and what we think they need so hopefully from the numbers that we've been getting it's, it's, it's been getting a good reaction so as I said you just go on to www.rioferdinand.com and it's self-explanatory and puts you into the magazine. Is this a sign that you're not going to go in, into coaching and management after football? No, I might try and do that as well. I think um, every every day, uh, every other week I start thinking, yeah, what am I being a manager? Um, but who knows at that time, I might just say, listen, I want to just settle down and relax with my family and just chill.